In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a skinned interface object using just a single graphic and some effects. The main advantage of this is that graphics can be scaled up and down to any size without losing quality. They also take up very little space, meaning your final application is smaller. You might want to use this technique if you're creating rich skinned applications that have to run on a variety of screen sizes. For this example, I'm going to create a beautiful glossy pill button with hover and press states. So to start with, I'm going to drag out a rounded rectangle. This is one of the types of graphic objects. Double click to edit its properties. I'm going to make it opaque so that it's solid. Set its line size to zero so that the border goes away. And make its round radius quite a bit bigger to be more like a pill button. Finally, I'm just going to change the background color. And if I resize it, you'll see now we have the shape of a pill button. Live code has five built-in graphic effects. Um, to activate one of the effects, simply tick on the box. Each effect has a number of properties, which once activated can be edited. In our case, we're going to start with an inner glow. Um, I'm going to set the size up. You'll see that that gives it uh, more of a 3D pill effect. Um, I don't want it to be a shadow. I'd rather it was a highlight, so I'm going to change it to white. And to create a highlight effect, I'm going to go from a blend mode of normal, which just overlays the color, to the blend mode of color dodge, which applies a highlight. The next thing we need for a good pull button is an inner shadow, or a gloss, um, for which we use an inner shadow. If we increase the distance, you'll see it's starting to look a bit like a gloss. And if we take the size down, you'll see it sharpens up the edge nicely. Finally, glosses are white, so we'll change its color to white and reduce its opacity to give it that gloss look. The last thing we need to do is give the pill a drop shadow. It's a little on the large side, so I'm going to change the defaults to be a little smaller and make the glow a little less strong. So now we have a great looking pill button. Next we want to add the scripts to turn it into an active interface element. So we handle a number of messages. The first one is on mouse enter. When the user puts their mouse over the object, we want to set the background color of the object to an RGB value. That's three numbers separated by commas. Um, I'm going to go for a pink color, which is 118, 0, 255. Of course, with a hover, it has to return to its normal color when the user is no longer over the button. So on mouse leave, I'll switch this back to the blue. Now to create a press state, what we want to do is handle the on mouse down message. This is sent to the button when the user presses the button and uh, set the background color. This time we want to go to a slightly different color of pink, so we'll go to maybe a scarlet. And finally, when the user is no longer touching or pressing the button, we want it to return to its normal color. And we'll set it back to blue. Now, of course, with a, a button has to have an action, so we'll answer hello world. And let's see the effect. Apply the script. And so when we hover our mouse, we get a nice pink color. You'll see the background colors changing and the effects are acting on that changed color. When we press, we get the slightly deeper scarlet color and we let go. We have Hello World. So there we go. An active interface element, beautifully skinned, and it's just a single graphic with Live Code's built-in graphic effects. 